Hi, everybody. Hello, and welcome to another episode of Pounds and Inches. I'm Ryan. I'm Bethany. And this is our board game review series, where we also happen to talk about our health, our weight loss, and our successes and failures. All right, so uh, what's going on in this past couple weeks? We are just coming off of Whole30, and it has been interesting. And not in a bad way, either. We're learning a lot about food. Um, we're learning that a lot of what we thought about food is lies, just all lies, <laughs> and that a lot of our food isn't real. Yeah, they are constantly putting, coming up with new ways to find and hide sugars inside of our foods, uh, and uh, so identifying those has been kind of cool and important for us. Um, identified some foods that are problem foods for us through this process, and some foods that we ended up liking that we didn't think we would or maybe didn't know we would, and uh, overall it's been a, a pretty cool experience. Uh, my problem now is going to be transitioning out into back into a somewhat regular, you know, diet and uh, making sure I don't overindulge. Yeah. And uh, we're entering the reintroduction stage of this program, so that's going to be interesting to see really how things mess with us. <laughs> <laughs> right. Um, but overall, um, you know, since this is called pounds and inches, uh, since the start of this uh, review series, I'm down thirty pounds. Woohoo! And so I know you've had some successes as well. Yeah, the main one that I'm super excited about is that I've actually lost an inch and a half around my arms. And you can tell. Crazy. So that's very cool. But today we're not going to talk anymore about that. We're going to talk about Kingdom Builder. Uh, so what do you get when you open the box of Kingdom Builder? All right, so you get these um, these huge tiles. There's eight of them in the game all together. You get the Kingdom Builder cards. These are the scoring cards. Mm -hmm. Um, and then you get the terrain cards. All different terrains, matching the terrains on the board. You get the player um, markers. There's four different colors because we can play up to four players. And then um, each tile has its own bonus chip, bonus action thing that you can do. And so then you have the associated tile with that as well, along with the score tracker. Yeah. Yeah. So how does all these terrains come together to make a game? All right, so in Kingdom Builder, first off, I want to say this is a Spiel des Jahres winner of 2012. This is a, this is a big deal. This is a, a good game that a lot of people are probably aware of. Um, but basically, if you're not aware of how this works, on your turn, you are going to be given a terrain card, and you place three of your little settlement pieces on the matching terrain. Um, and the, you know, the kind of the building rules are it has to be connected to something else that you've already built. So if you don't aren't touching any of this, you know, in this case, the grass tiles, you can place any other grass tile area you want. Uh, but if you are touching grass somehow, then you have to build connecting onto that. Uh, and each, at the beginning of each game, you're going to be dealt, or the, you know, dealt three of these scoring cards. Each one has a different function, a different way of scoring the game. So each time you play, there's kind of a different vibe, a different uh, strategy you might try to go for. Some I mean, you might go for, you know, big clusters of, you know, of settlements. Other ones you might go for individual small settlements wherever you can get them. Um, there's all different, you know, scoring scenarios. So each time you play, it's going to be a little bit different. Uh, in addition to that, uh, you are going to be getting points for touching these castles. And that's kind of the gist of it. You go around the table until everyone has uh, had a chance to place as many other houses as possible. As soon as someone goes out... Uh, you finish that round so everyone has an equal number of turns, and then you count while you're scoring. All right, so what do you like about uh, this Spiel des Jahres winner? It is pretty easy to teach people because it is fairly easy to learn. It's so easy to learn that I think I could even teach people this game. Maybe, probably. I'm not really sure, but I, I had the confidence that I could try to teach somebody <laughs> this game. That's how um, easy it is, I think, to grasp. Yeah, and this is a fast game. I mean, we play a tw two-player game in 20 minutes. The full four-player complement is probably more like 45 minutes. So it's extremely fast. It does not overstay its welcome. We usually play it two or three times in a row just because it takes more time to tear it down than it does <laughs> to play another round sometimes. The variability of this game is also pretty high, I think. Um, there's eight of these, and by these I mean these, as you can see it separates. Um, side note, it's kind of nice because they actually have the score tracker on the back of 
all of these. So they're little dual purpose there. A little nice thing. That's fun. Um, it saves you to have to create a ninth piece. But so with all of those looking different and then all of the Kingdom Builder cards that you have, you have a lot of different options of how to play this game. And the reason why I think that's a good thing and goes back to what I was talking about earlier about easy to teach, you can't really have a definitive strategy in this game. So when you're teaching somebody, you're also playing the new game as well. Yeah, absolutely. So um, those are things that we like about this game. Is there anything that you're not so much of a fan of? Uh, one of my biggest problems with this game is uh, on your turn you were given one card and you have, you know, due to the constraints of how you play, you might have very little choices as to where you can lay your little settlement pieces. Uh, and that can lead to some frustrating turns. So uh, there's sometimes you just don't get that meaning for a little decision on your turn. You just play whatever you're dealt. And that can be, I wish there was a fix for that. I don't know what it is, but <laughs> that can be some frustrating turns basically. I think one thing that could be a problem with this game, as it is right now, Ryan will talk more about expansions in a little bit. Um, I think gamers will want more and playing in this base vanilla game that they'll enjoy it like we do, but just like you're just kind of reaching your, you're waiting for that crescendo to happen in the game and it just, and it doesn't. Um, so I could see that in the vanilla base version of the game becoming an issue for gamers, not just beginner gamers, but gamers. And more experienced gamers, yeah. Um, this is by the designer from Dominion. I really love Dominion. I really wanted to love this game. As it currently stands though, I don't love the game. I just like it a lot. Um, however, this uh, has a lot of expansions. I found seven different entries in uh, Board Game Geek for expansions for this game, and all of the reviews for them seem really, really, really positive. So I think that that to even just one or maybe more of those expansions might take it from a like to a love again, that where I want to be. Um, so as it is, I have a hard time recommending this to experienced gamers unless you're looking for that lighter, faster game uh, to fill in that uh, that. Uh, end of the night kind of a game but but with that said we like it enough to want to invest in the expansion absolutely we can see the the roots here is, is a really fun experience we just want a little bit more so we can take it to the next level so thanks again for tuning in to another episode of Pounds and Inches. Yeah, and feel free to follow us. Um, feel free to leave comments or suggestions. If you own this game and expansions, tell us which ones to buy first because, you know, we're interested. Absolutely, <laughs> in we're in the market. Yeah. <laughs> follow Ryan's blog on Board Game Geek where we talk more about the um, the health side of this review series. You can find that Pound and Inches. You can follow me on Instagram at bnfigs. That's where you can find me. Um, and you can leave comments, you can talk to us. We really look forward to hearing from you guys. We've really liked all the comments that you've given us. It's very encouraging. So until next time, we'll see you later. Bye. All right, so that's, uh, our nope. feelings. <laughs> 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 hey, okay there then uh, yep okay, okay.